Um, commemorate the sale of more than 4,000 copies of Electra album uh, cassettes. It's just the Metallica. It's called Metallica for the CD. Okay. The, the, yeah. They're probably their black album then. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> And you don't have to worry. I have a Gen X friend, the comedian, who's getting the Nirvana plaque, so I'm not going to send that to you. When I'm <laughs> so many people give me grief over my stance on Nirvana, and I understand they were it was a huge band for so many people. Yeah, I just it, I got really sour at the end of the uh, at the end of the hair bands, and it's funny to see them all coming back now. But you know, as much as I love the hair bands, you, you gotta you gotta admit that they, their music. While it's still around, it didn't sustain like classic rock. The Rolling no. Stones, the Beatles, the Grateful Dead, the classic rock, the Eagles, those classic the rock bands. I'm surprised are, you're not a Doris fan. I'm a huge Doris fan. I okay, love as Jim I think Morrison. Would be, yeah. So here's the deal. The quick story. Um, my father was married to three women. He was married to my mother, divorced her, was married to my first stepmother for a short time. And then was married to my last stepmother, who was like a mother to me and who he had actually known his entire life and dated before he met my mother. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. So there's, there's a very long and convoluted thing. But the, that woman, Josephine, my my third stepmother, my second stepmother, third mother altogether, uh, her first husband was a musician. He was a keyboardist. And I'm going through albums at my stepmother's house one day and I see my stepmother on an airplane with Led Zeppelin. I see my stepmother mother on behind backstage with Janis Joplin and I'm, I'm seeing her with all these acts and I'm like, where, how did you get to know? She goes, well, they make my, a movie my, about her? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right. She goes, yeah, well, my ex-husband was, was my ex-husband was a keyboardist and he actually played backup keyboards on the on the door's first two albums and so she's showing me pictures of her on the plane on the airplane with the doors he would later on go on to for 26 years be the keyboardist for uh joe cocker wow yeah so she i mean he had a ton of musical connections and she had all this great musical past and like i was like blown away she her house was the first time i ever heard aerosmith she goes, oh, you want to hear some music? Put she put draw the line on for me, and she, on, a, on a record, she's like, just sit down. And